Did you know? These yellow bells are the official flowers of the Bahamas and the Virgin Islands of the United States. These ornamental shrubs are quite sturdy, drought tolerant, and are easily propagated by stem cuttings. They are native to these green regions, and they were introduced to the pink regions. Did you know? Tecoma stans is an invasive species in Africa, Asia, Australia, South America, and the Pacific Islands. These bright flowers attract various insects as pollinators. The petal markings are designed for the insects as nectar guides. Even after the flower drops, the green sepals, and the female part stays on the plant to protect and help the fruit grow. Now, let's cut the flower and study its morphology. The funnel or trumpet-shaped flower is around five centimeters long. The green calyx is cup-shaped. Let's cut open the calyx tube. The calyx is the collective term for all the sepals of a flower. Sepals are individual leaf-like structures, collectively called the calyx. It is evenly five dentate with submarginal glands. The corolla tube gets easily detached from the base, exposing the female reproductive part. The corolla is five-lobed and has a narrow base. We can gently open the corolla tube. On the inside, we can observe the male parts called stamens attached to the corolla, that is epipetalous. The stamens are in dynamous condition, that is two pairs of unequal length. It also has one small staminode, that is sterile stamen. The anthers are hairy and bears two pollen sacs. They release the pollens via a longitudinal slit. The female part, that is the pistil, has a bilobed stigma at the top for receiving the pollens, followed by a long, thin style and a cylindrical ovary seated on a disc at the base. In a transverse section of the ovary, we can observe many ovules like this. The fruit is a long, green, flattened capsule. When it dries up, the two valves splits open along the sides, exposing the central structure called the replum. Replum is a false septum in the center of the two valves and acts as a point of attachment for the seeds. The seeds are numerous and quite interesting as the seeds have light, membranous wings. The wings help the seeds to be dispersed via wind as well as water. The yellow bells, Tacoma stands, 